This is AV Calculus AV, Unit 5, A AV Section B. Unit 5, Applications of Definite Integrals, Lesson 3, Areas in the Plane 1. Okay, so we're going to find the area encompassed by two curves a couple of ways. I want to demonstrate the various techniques that can be used. So here we go. This is, this is uh, well, no need for a question number. Y equals 12 minus x squared and y equals x squared minus 6. Okay, We know these are quadratic, so they are uh, parabolas, right? And I can graph them as follows here. So if this is the origin, this is shifted up 12 units. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And it's x squared upside down. So 1 squared, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so forth. Okay. Likewise, we have y equals x squared minus 6. Okay. And let's go ahead and graph that in blue here. x squared minus 6 has a y-intercept of negative 6, 2, 4, 6. Other than that, it's x squared upside, right side up, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared. And then there's the points they have in common. Okay, so we've got a curve that kind of looks like this. And like this. And what we're interested in is finding the area between them. And there's a couple of ways we can do this. Okay, here's the approach I'm going to use. I'm going to find the area of a rectangle, a vertical rectangle. So here we go. I'm just going to find the area of a little slice right here. Okay, and I'm going to make it ever so thin. Again, coming back to the concept of Riemann sums, sums of slices. Okay, the width, the width of this slice is delta x. Okay, the height of this slice is 12 minus x squared. The depth of the, of the blue slice here, the, or the coordinate of the bottom, is x squared minus 6. So the height of the rectangle is length times width, or length, yeah, length times width. But the height of the rectangle is the area of length times width. The height of the rectangle is 12 minus x squared minus x squared minus 6. Let's re-evaluate re that here, simplify that. That's going to be, uh, oh, minus x squared minus 6. Careful of that. So that's going to be minus x squared plus 6. So that's going to be 18 minus x squared. That's the height of my rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is going to be length times width. It's going to be 18 minus x squared times the width delta x. Okay. So this is expressing the area of just the vertical thin slice. Now if I add up all the slices and take the limit as the width of the slices goes to zero, that is by definition a Riemann sum and it is the definite integral. So the area, not just of the rectangle, but the entire thing is the definite integral from negative 3 to 3 of 18 minus x squared dx. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do that. So the area is 18x minus 2 third minus, sorry, 2x. What happened to my 2x? I apologize, there's supposed to be a 2 there. Negative x squared, negative x squared is negative 2x squared. Okay, 
So 2 thirds x cubed from negative 3 to 3. So area is 18 times 3 minus 2 thirds 3 cubed minus 18 times negative 3 minus 2 thirds times negative 3 cubed. So the area is 18 times 3, 40, 30, 54. One of the threes cancels, leaving 3 squared, 9 times 2, which is 18, minus 18 times negative 3 is negative 54. Negative negative is positive 18. Now distribute the negative. 54 and 54, negative 18 and negative 18. Simplifying a little bit, this is just 2 times 54 minus 18, which is 44, 34, 36, which is 72. 72 square units is the area between the two curves. And that's method number one, okay? Method number one. Let's go ahead and do it another method as well. And to do this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to divide this thing into what I see. I see some symmetry. And I'm going to find this area right here. Okay? And I'm going to slice it, slice it and dice it this way. So I want the area of this rectangle, the area of this rectangle. The width, the height of the rectangle is delta y, okay? But the width of the rectangle, the, the left bound is 0. The right bound I need to solve. So I'm going to take y equals 12 minus x squared and solve for x. So x squared is 12 minus y or x is the square root of 12 minus y, and positive or negative, but this is positive. So this bound is 12 minus y square root. So the width of the rectangle is root 12 minus y. Okay? So the area of the rectangle, the horizontal rectangle, is width root 12 minus y times delta y. Now look at that. We've got an, an area of a rectangle that depends entirely on y. So the area of the entire thing is the integral, this time from 0 to 12, integrating on y, from 0 to 12, of root 12 minus y, dy. Now that's the area of the quadrant that I've got here. If I multiply by 4, I'll get the total area of the, er, the of the, between the curves. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. All right, so a little u substitution. If u is 12 minus y, then du is negative dx dy. So we just basically need to include a negative uh, sign here. Let's make a little room. a equals 4 times the integral of x to the 1 half is x to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves or 2 thirds. So 2 thirds, 2 thirds of uh, root 2 thirds of 12 minus y to the 3 halves from 0 to 12. Okay, and let's see what that comes out as. Let's substitute 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. 0 to the 3 halves is 0. 0 times 2 thirds is 0. So 0 minus, insert 0, or no, I'm sorry, insert 3. That's not 0, that's 3. 0 is down here. 3 Okay, so 3, 12 minus 3 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, 3 to the third, 
is 27. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 times 4 is 40. 54. No, that's not right. Should come out to 72. So minus negative 2 thirds times 27. All right. So I'm trying to do too much in my head. So 4 times 2 thirds of 12 minus 3 is 9 to the 3 halves. Okay, half means square root. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 27 divided by 3. 27 divided by 3 is 9. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 9 is 72. Yay! All right, and don't forget the negative sign there. Okay. All right, so we end up with the same answer anyway. All right, so I just wanted to point that out, that there's more than one way to skin a cat, so to speak. Why that phrase, I don't know. But uh, you can divide your, you can set up your rectangles vertically or you can set them up horizontally. You can integrate on X or you can integrate on Y. And really which you choose depends on the circumstances, which is easier. In this case, the easiest is a vertical rectangle, but sometimes you're going to find that the nature of the problem lends itself to integrating on Y instead of on X.